Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, April 29th. Twin Diggers here out in the woods. Yeah! <laughs> well, we started out having a contest between us to see who could find the most stuff. But it got to a point where there was so much stuff to pick up that we found. Uh, we thought we'd save that for another video. So I'm going to bend down and go through some of the trash and uh, we are on uh, an old farm site that was turned into an undisclosed area, so we are out yeah. in the bush. I'm going to pan out here so they can see the size of these trees, yeah. this tree clump that you're by. It's pretty massive. Which is awesome! Yeah. So the first thing I'll hold up, I found this bullseye target, this was buried. So that'll be a nice find for the grandson. We're going to give that to Ryder. He can play with that and do something. Wow. I wonder how long that's been under the ground. I don't know. You can tell the bottom's in pretty good shape the way it's sat. Yeah. All right. Bend down here, sister. Okay. Sister Pam, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Should we go through some of the dinosaur eggs we found? Yes, please. Okay, well down here, <laughs> I had these, and they're all grown up now, and they're in the woods. We think they're actually turkey eggs. So you guys let us know. We have no idea even how big a turkey is, or an egg. It looks like a raccoon or a skunk well, raided the nest. Maybe, or they broke through. So let's just start. We know that there was a farm. We know that things were moved as always. So this is some of the iron uh, lids. Found a lot of uh, you know these little old cans. I can't imagine what those were for. Can lids. More can lids. Cans, as you can tell. So we got that out. Found and some of these too. We these. are using the table here for all of our stuff. Pat found this huge piece of it's like a rip rip wrap yep. tin siding so barn, the barn or something. So it's a huge piece. I took okay. pictures of it separately. So if you guys want to see everything, uh, it'll be posted on the Twin Diggers Facebook page tonight. Mm -hmm. This poor crow lost its life. We found that in a pile around the woods. Found this really old inhaler. I don't even know how old that would be. Pam found this interesting can. Looks like it has Japanese or Chinese writing on it. The back's in really bad shape. I don't know if you can see the, it's old. the lid. Very interesting. Let me zoom in on that. Part. Yeah, let me hold it. Okay. So that's kind of weird. It's really old light bulb casing with glass on the bottom yeah and brass normally the, brass fitting. the newer ones now are you know they're um like a porcelain. aluminum or yeah. with yeah so we got a nice hit on that modern clad i can't make out the year i think this is 97 these this one's in bad shape pam found this old sunbeam battery double a I don't even think they make that anymore. Does anyone remember Sunbeam? Oh boy, that's a 70s thing, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know because we, we weren't born at yeah, that time. Yeah, we were still right? in the womb. Yeah, we, uh -huh. we so we don't know if it's from yeah, the 70s. We were in the womb fighting. Yep. Um, Pam found this clump of metal all twisted up, some kind of, wiring I don't know, wiring. I found this just as it is. I don't know what it was for. It was certainly cut, and a nail was dri driven through it. That was weird. Tennis ball, golf ball. What's a hunt without a golf ball find? Huh? I know. Pam found this. We don't know if it's a dog collar. I'll zoom in on that. Yeah, it's all leather. Um, the strap is in really good shape, but it was about a foot down. So we're thinking maybe it's a dog collar. I don't think it goes to a, um, a horse's... Um, like the bridle? Yeah, the bridle or... at all. I think that's a dog. So Yeah, but it's cool though that that thick leather, leather is still intact. Yeah. This is probably the biggest thing that, you know, 
belong to a farm. Yeah, that's a big indicator that we're on the right area for farmland, that's for sure. Absolutely. Huge piece of iron. More of these lids, lids. Glass. Uh, some of this stuff was on the surface. You could see the sun shining on it. I just picked it up and got it out. This little weird foam thing. Pam got this. Some type of old fencing for something. This was where we thought to be in the barn dump area. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't know if it's for a vine, you know, like a trellis or something, mm -hmm. but it looks really old. And look at all this. Wow. This was my find. You think that's old? Mm -hmm. Old style Budweiser? I'm not, I'm not sure. Because sure, it's got that red red tamp on it too. Yeah. I don't know. And a seven up, a sprite, Dr. Pepper. Oh, this thing is electrolytes. All of this stuff was laying in the woods. Some of it looks newer, some of it not. We picked it all up. Somebody likes caribou. <laughs> this must be old because I think the cups now are red. No, you can get them that color now. Can you? Yeah, they're all different colors. Okay. Look at this bottle. It looks like a little critter was having fun chewing it. Yeah. Probably a squirrel or something messing with that. Yeah. Trash, you know, again. Yeah, it's frustrating. You take it and whip it in the woods, you know, put it in your pocket, throw it away. There's trash cans all around the area. That's right. It's one of our pet peeves, right, sis? That's right. I'm not sure what this is. It's a beer bottle. It's got all these ridges going around it. Um, there's one small number on the bottom. I'll have yeah. to look that up. I don't think they're real old, though. But... This one is a uh, Summit. It's an amber bottle. Num num. So, this one, this is embossed around here. It says uh, Sam Adams. Cool. No, I'm not much of a beer drinker, but um, I've never seen an amber bottle that's Sam Adams. So, again, if anyone knows the date range on that. And look at this mess. Isn't this Plastic. terrible? All of these wrappers because Chip people bags, are too lazy to bags, throw their garbage away. Lids, styrofoam, hunks of plastic. Um, but again, it'll be going in the trash. And yep. look at, I found a new wardrobe shirt for sister. Wow. Look at that. I can't wait to get home and wash this up and I wear know. it. I know. Wow. That thing's pretty old. I'm going to bring it home and clean it up and you can wear it on the next dig. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Not going to happen. All right. All right. So we were out here for three and a half hours. And oh, this brick too. Oh, yeah. Oh, this brick yeah, laying in the, the woods. Brick was doing there. Weird. Yeah. So this is what we found. Oh, can I mention one thing? Sure. On a few digs ago, I was really jealous because Pat got a oh, bumblebee that's lid. Right, we forgot. And I wanted it. So look at this. I dug one. And hers is in better shape than mine. And flip it over. It's even got the little liner in it. Yep. We had someone look this up. I thought it was honey. And it actually it's is a, a top to a uh, old beer bottle and I can't recall the name right now. It's in our Facebook page mm -hmm. um, But yeah, yours is in really nice condition. That's going home with me. Isn't that funny? I love it. That we each found one. I know. I find that ironic. I do too. So once again uh, Beautiful day out in the woods. It was very windy Our Garrett Ace 300 came through. Mm-hmm. It always Wonderful does. Job. With our Garrett pinpointers. Yep, and when we are out looking uh, at old farm sites, which there are a lot in the area where we live, you always look for the big trees. And that kind of dates, or the, the date of the area, and also where foundation may have been. Obviously, uh, we got cut up with buckthorn and oh. this really nasty prick bushes. But there were a lot of open areas, and the soil here was phenomenal to dig in. And we're probably going to be back quite a few more times because there is a lot here to go through. Yeah, the sun's so. starting to set, and uh, we just wanted to see uh, what we could find in here, and we were pretty happy with it. And uh, Mr. Alligator's pretty happy, oh, too. Oh, you to get a close up to Mr. Alligator. He's going to say goodbye mm -hmm. to us. Say goodbye to us. We'll see you at the next video. Can you imagine finding that in the woods looking at you? Yep.
just kind of creepy. I think I would have messed myself. Anyway, the twin diggers are taking a break this weekend. Sister Pam, they're going up to, to um, get some things taken care of around the house. And uh, I've got some things to do at my house too. So we are did you Did you hear the segue there that she did? Well, She I, didn't want to say cabin, so she said house. House. But you know what? Even, even this weekend, I'm going to be metal detecting. Right. And I might go out, but I have a lot of things that I have to do this weekend. So we will be back at you soon. Thank you for watching. All of this stuff is going in the trash and recycling. Yay! Follow us on Facebook, Twin Diggers Minnesota. Subscribe, like, share our YouTube channel, Twin Diggers Minnesota. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. See you later. Over and out. Bye now.